Hi everyone, this is Mark Costa and in today's video we are going to show how can you run a Click application automation from a ClickSense load script. So, the first thing you're going to need at some point is um, an app API. So if I go here to your management console and if you go to API keys you have to create an uh, API key in order to call uh, the REST APIs to execute um, your automation. I believe I have one. If I don't, I, I will have to go back here and to create one. So um, let's go here and first let's find uh, what would be the API where we can call this automation from your load script. I believe is that of course it needs to be a REST API. So Click Click Cloud has lots of uh, endpoints. So let's see if we have one to, to run one, one automation. So go here, click Dev API. We should see the help site. So this is the um, developer portal where we have all the APIs. So we are looking for a REST API. So then we have all the categories here. So we're looking for automations. So it's probably this one. I never did that. So let's try this one. And then we see a list of uh, automation, the endpoints here. So let's look around. Get a runs. It's probably this one. So we get an, an automation ID and do a run. Let's find the other one, not this one. That one looks like the one that you're looking for. Retrieves a list of runs for a specific automation. No. I'm look, oh, look at here. Create a run. This is what I'm looking for. A run is an execution. So to create a run, we have this command here, okay? Let me create a new automation just for tests. So go here, a new automation, okay. I will create a blank one. So I will call automation trigger test, okay. Save it. So I put the, I will keep this in manual. I, I don't need to change this one. And I will just add an output here. Okay just to keep it simple, so do something cool with this automation, okay. All right, save it. And let's run, just to test it. So it is scheduled to test. This may take some time, so I wait here and maybe advance the, the, the time when it's finished. All right. So now we know the application is running. So it's just an add a block here. And then this will block and show this message here at the end. So this is our application, our automation that you're looking for. If we need the ID, uh, we have the ID here. So we just make a note on this. Let me copy this and save. Okay, I'll save on my notepad. All right, so I have my automation. I have the endpoint. So as I always recommend, let's use Postman to test everything. So copy this. Okay, go to Postman. We go to import. Paste the the curl command that we copied from here. And now we have to. Uh, I, I will just get here. Um, how they call it? Create a run. Create a run. Okay. Import. Now we have to change the parameters. So this is my your tenant U, US. So let me get this uh, tenant right here. Okay. I'll add here my tenant. I need the automations ID. So I'll copy here from my previous notes. I'll go here. Control V. Uh, we have some headers. I need the I need the automation the my token ID. I believe I have it somewhere here. 
Okay, that's probably the one. So copy here, no paste here, okay. And the body, the body, I think, let me see here, request ID. I think this could be any ID. I, I'll use this one. I'm not sure if this is required, so run object to create experimental request body create response create i'll try blank first and see what how it goes i don't i it's it looks funny this one for me so i'll try without it and try let me save and try to send it yeah i i as I was expecting, the uh, yes, yeah, so we you don't need to specify the ID. It's funny. Uh, um, we should. So what this is doing? This is passing the run ID. So this is the run that it's executing um, the application. So I I created the run. So if I go here to our automations, or even if I open my automation here, so let me go from here, I should see that the automation was executed. Uh, automation trigger test, this one, right? Automation trigger test. Last one, 20, 25 seconds ago. So that's the one. If I go here and view runs, this is the one that you see, this was the manual process we run, and this is from the context API. If I go, let me see view history, automation. You see, this is the run ID. That's the one that was created when I when I call it. So I don't you don't need to pass the body with this this ID. It it will just create for you. You can specify probably, but it's not needed. Okay. So uh, let's go back there. So go back to my click. Perfect. So now, all right, we know, we know the endpoint. We know all the parameters. So what that means, I can go to my analytics app. I can create um, a new application. We'll call execute. Create an automation run using Click REST API. Just for test, I add this inside my personal space. It doesn't matter. I'll go here, create, open the app. So first, the very first thing you need is to create the connection to this API. So go here, create new connection. What type of the connection? It'll be a REST API. So go to rest okay so now we're just going to copy the very same parameters we have specified in postman so that's what is nice on postman you just need to come here get the things you needed because you already have specified everything so you're good to go so then the next things we need uh, let me put this aside is the headers so the headers are two parameters so the first is content type, application, application JSON. The second one is the authentication. So use token, copy this one. You could use allow with connection, uh, but in this one, we don't need it. Uh, I will call it create uh, a run, okay? And I think we're missing the body. So if I go to the body, I'll copy this. And then, is this a post, right? So we have to change it here to post. And then the request body, that's it. So if you click on test, I believe this will run an automation again. So let's test it. Okay, probably you see another run on the automation. So let me try, let me make sure if it ran or not. 
So automations four minutes ago. Oh, this is good. We'll see. View runs. Okay, I have these. So those are tests. Okay. So they are they will they will eventually start. So if you keep this here, they will eventually start. So let me put this here. We, this is where we're going to monitor everything here. All right. So, so there, there are multiple ways that you can call this now. So go here. Uh, I will get my 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 connection. Again, I put always no limits here, so you can see the whole thing. And let's say I I want to return the ID generated, the run ID generated at the end. So you don't need it, but I, I will just add it, okay? So let's insert, all right. So this is my code. So I, I, you can just run like this and it should work. So let's see, refresh. Wow, why this is doing all this stuff? Let me, let me close this. And this is running multiple times. <laughs> I like that. So it's doing something here. Probably the wizard is triggering stuff. Let's see. Okay, I think it's on. Yeah, I don't know the details what's going on here, but I believe when you when you're executing, um, put pushing the wizard is actually executing all the stuff. This is interesting. Okay. So we have one running, two on the, on, on the line. So uh, let me go here and I, I will execute this. So just make sure. So this is again, just in, two in the line, one running. I will run again and we should see another one there. Okay, if I go back there, so you see it's calling the refresh, so refresh it. So now we have three on the line, so eventually they will get refreshed. So be careful with that. So you see, I, I was not expecting that. So when you create a connection and when you test a connection and when you click the select data, it executes uh, the command multiple times. So be aware of that. So now, you could do, you can use this in different ways. So I can call, I can say here, just to make this a little bit more fun. So you can do call, automation, call, automation procedure, procedure. So then you can create a sub here. So sub, oops, sub. So this is how you can create a procedure here. In click call automation and then you go here and sub right we can encapsulate all this and then you can go to another tab and um, my load script you can have something here for instance um, I say my my source Load start in line some field one two one two three and then you can do like a condition um, so you can get uh, get the number of records the number of records equals num of rows in my source trace my source has this amount of records if my records is greater than I would say two then Call, call, automation, okay? Uh, else, and, and if. So 
So then you can go here and say trace running my automation, okay? Trace um, automation will not be triggered. This is just to play around, okay? That's all we need. So we get, I'm just having anything here. So just to have some records, and then I can, I can just, I'm just sure how can you put a condition to call or not an automation. Of course, you can, you can copy this whole thing here and, and put here in replacing the, this procedure. I'm just showing you different ways where you can call this procedure. So uh, call the automation. So I, I like to encapsulate uh, some complexity, uh, complexity of the code using procedures. So this is just um, to show how can you do that. So let's see if we have everything refreshed. So everything completed. I'll go here. So my code should execute this time. I will, let me actually not execute it. So we just have one, one record. So load the data. Okay. So automation will not be triggered. So we, we, we didn't pass this automation. So my source has one records. So this will not be executed. So if I come back here, we should not see anything. I will refresh just to prove this to myself. Okay, then I'll go back here, add more records. And if I load the script, so my source has three records running my automation. Perfect. So I'll go back here and then our automation gets started. Okay, so that's it. I hope you have liked it. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe our channel, and join to Click Meetup group. I'll put the links on the description. So I'll see you there. Bye-bye.